Good morning, friends. So, before I start with Flannery O'Connor and her short story, Good Country People, I want to uh, give you an overview of a short story as a genre. All of us know short stories and many of us enjoy reading short stories because of their um, easy accessibility, well, most of the time. Now, um, but uh, it is not as simple as it sounds. So, there, there are certain complexities inherent in this genre as well. Basically, a short story. So, let us begin with the beginning. How, what is, how is it defined as? It is defined as, as a, a brief work of prose fiction and can be analyzed in a similar manner as a novel. Historically, the genesis of short stories can be found in the Bible. Some famous stories include the accounts of Cain and Abel, the prodigal son, the story of Ruth and Judith. A few examples of this kind of narrative are the folk tale, the fabulou, the parable and the exemplum. Uh, also, think of Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, which was written in the 14th century and around that time Boccaccio's Decameron in 1353, Cervantes is uh, the writer of, the author of Don Quixote. So, his work, Novelas Ejemplaires, uh, which was published in 1613 and La Fontaine's Amours in 1669. Also, uh, not to forget the Arabian Nights and all these are some of the best known collection of stories. So, Boccaccio's Decameron, Canterbury Trails, La Fontaine's Amours and Arabian Nights. So, some of the greatest examples and of course, we have our own variation of the short story narration, a narrative and genre that is Jatak and the Panchatantra stories in um, Indian tradition. It was in the 19th century that the short story narrative started to approximate its contemporary form. In England in the 19th century, um, Richard Steele and Joseph Edison evolved the tale with a purpose to drive home a moral. Then you had Walter Scott who wrote Wandering Willie's Tales in 1824, which was first, which was our first English approach to the modern type of short story. Robert Louis Stevenson, um, he wrote, uh, he famously said and I am quoting him, there are three ways of writing a short story. You take a plot and fit characters to it or you may take a character and choose incidents and situations to develop it or lastly, you may take a certain atmosphere and get actions and persons to realize it. I like you to take a look at this slide to know more about short stories. These are the websites that can give you some more detailed information. Please take a look. All right. Now, short story and uh, other literary genres. Now, a short story is a prose which is distinct from longer narratives such as epic novels and romance. It is essentially concerned with a single effect conveyed in a single episode or scene and involves a limited number of characters. A short story can have even one character and in more experimental examples, there need not be even a plot or a character. It may also happen that a short story may concentrate on the creation of mood or atmosphere rather than the telling of a story. A short story focuses on the outcome of the events. For example, Sherlock Holmes, O. Henry, Saki, Edgar Allan Poe often considered the originator of the short story Poe particularly. And then still in the works of some artists, there is more attention on character the spiritual, moral and psychological qualities. For example, in Hemingway and Chekhov and Herman Melville, so they concentrate more on the spiritual and moral and psychological qualities and conflicts. Strictly speaking, a short story differs from a novel in terms of magnitude. Poe, who was one of the earliest one to theorize the genre, defines it as a narrative which can be read at one sitting of uh, from let us say um, half an hour to, uh, to two hours and is limited to a certain unique or single effect to which every detail is subordinate. 
Scholars have always differed over the ideal length of a short story. D. H. Lawrence's The Fox, which was published in 1923, is 30,000 words long. Still like the novel, the form is flexible and capable of endless variety. But unlike the novel, it has no room for leisurely development of characters or the setting. A remarkable feature of the short story is that it often begins on the verge of the climax, whereas its exposition and denouement are swift. Talking about short story in America, okay, so uh, let me give you an overview of that as well. You have greats like Melville and uh, Mark Twain and uh, Bret Hart, Ambrose Bierce, O. Henry, Stephen Crane and Jack Lond London, also Sherwood Anderson who are the major authors, writers. Melville's Pierre's Tales, when we were talking about Moby Dick and uh, intro introducing, um, getting introduced to Herman Melville, I have already talked about the Pierre's Tales, particularly Bartleby, the Scrivener. And then Mark Twain, he wrote the celebrated jumping frog of Calvaris County. Bret Hart popularized the western, the luck of roaring camp and other sketches in 1870. Ambrose Bierce wrote the tales of soldiers and civilians in 1891 and O. Henry, he is the master of surprise endings or twists in the tale. Uh, for example, Cabbages and Kings and it was published in 1904 and then Jack London and his several stories, okay, adventurous stories and tales of the sea. So, that is what the, uh, those are the greats or the masters of uh, short story as a genre in America. Now, some short story writers uh, who uh, are also prominent novelists include D. H. Lawrence, Richard Hughes, Graham Greene who wrote The Basement Room and other stories and May We Borrow Your Husband, etc. Then Nabokov and James Joyce, Somerset Mom, uh, his famous short stories include um, Kazorina's tree, uh, tree in 1926 and Ashden stories in 1928. So, these are um, one uh, a few of the most widely read story writers of the 20th century. The Russians have also made immense contribution to the genre of realistic short story. Some examples include Alexander Pushkin who wrote the tales of Balkin, the queen of spades and the captains daughters and then Gogol who wrote about everyday things, events and ordinary people especially in notes of a madman and uh, the portrait and also the nose and the overcoat. Such was Gogol's impact on the genre that Terzhenev, another great Russian author, he famously remarked, we all come out from under Gogol's overcoat. There is another subgenre of short story which is the grotesque. The word is derived from the Italian grot or caves and it denotes a decorative ornament consisting of medallions, sphinxes, foliage, rocks and pebbles since these were found in grottoes, the, the caves. 16th century onwards the meaning was extended to its literary context. For example, in France, Rebelli used the term to describe parts of the body. And that became the, you know, subsequently we talk about the genre of the body horror, the grotesque. Grotesque also applied to paintings which depicted the intermingling of human, uh, animals, and vegetable forms as themes. For example, paintings by Rabelais, Gros, Karl Persson, Goya, Raphael, Bugel, and Dali. I am just trying to give you an overlap of how cultural influences impact on literature as well. Now, um, Edgar Allan Poe, one of the foremost American poets and also short story writers, he wrote the tales of grotesque and arabesque, these belong to that nature, uh, the grotesque and were popular in uh, America as well as Europe. In America, Flannery O'Connor is known for her tales of grotesque and macabre and that is something we are going to see in her good country people very soon. In 20th century, Kafka, the German writer, has written a staggering 80 short stories. 
He experimented with a variety of lengths, style, themes and techniques and includes parables, fables, sketches, reports, letters, dialogues, dramatic dialogues and essays. Um, let me also introduce you to Truman Capote, the great American writer, uh, who believed that a story can be ragged by a faulty rhythm in a sentence or a mistake in paragraphing on punct or punctuation. Okay. Uh, Truman Capote, Capote, the writer of In Cold Blood and more famously Breakfast at Tiffany's. Now, remember if Henry James is the master of the semicolon, then Hemingway is the king of paragraphing. It is also necessary to have interesting openings and signature endings for a short story. For example, Chekhov's relatively non-dramatic and Mopasa's and Saki's highly shocking. Remember Mopasa, the writer of the diamond necklace and how it ends. One quality of a short story is its ability to tell stories by a series of gestures, shorts and suggestions with little explanation. This could be one of the reasons why some interesting films are adaptations of short stories. Some examples are Washington Square by Henry James, which was made into uh, The Heiress, F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Jeremy Levin's Don Juan, The Marco and The Centerfold, and Daphne du Maurier's Don't Look Now and Birds. So, this was a very short introduction to short story and uh, I want you to look at this particular slide on good country people that we are going to start soon. Here is a reading of the short story on the first link and the second link is a, a sort of dramatization of this story. So, please do watch and go through these uh, links before coming for the next class. Thank you very much.